Francis Ngannou has posted new sparring footage as he prepares for his return to the octagon. In the video, Ngannou is seen grappling with UFC middleweight Chris Curtis. Here's the footage. Chris, get up! Chris, get up! Stand up, Chris! Just stand up! Why are you why are you staying down there like that? Dennis! Tell Chris to get up! Judge Doug Crosby has finally responded to criticism over his questionable scorecards, including the Patty Pimlet vs. Jared Gordon decision. The veteran official, who was the dissenting judge in the split decision between Rafian Stotts and Danny Sabatello at Bellator 289, claims that he can't directly address scorecards from any one particular fight. Crosby says the athletic commission has rules in place when it comes to judges and he will not defy the regulations in order to defend or to explain any scorecard, including the 50-45 decision he gave to Sabatello. The same goes for Crosby's scorecard from the controversial decision between Patty Pimlet and Jared Gordon at UFC 282. Although that night, his decision wasn't an outlier and was on par with fellow judges Ron McCarthy and Chris Lee, who all three scored the fight 29-28 in favor of Patty, differing only in the rounds awarded to each fighter. While speaking on Chael Sonnen's podcast, Crosby said, there's a system and protocols in place for officials to comment on fights that they have judged, and I respect that. There's a process in place for any fighter who's interested in information about how their fight was judged. The information is based upon the officials using the scoring criteria and any fight, not just this past weekend, or any fighter is welcome to contact the administrators and ask them about the process. As for me commenting on particular fights right now, or maybe ever, that is up to the discretion of the administrators. That's not me trying to duck out of answering hard questions about judging fights, but there is a process, and I respect the process. While he couldn't address anything in particular with either fight, Crosby admitted that judges are asked to hand down a score between rounds with very little time to contemplate what just happened. He continued, You've got to assign a numerical value to what you just saw and on average, you get about 15 seconds to turn that score in. If you write off about 5 of those seconds for the time it takes to write it, that leaves you about 10 seconds to make a decision about who won a round and who lost the round in the most sophisticated, dynamic sport featuring the best athletes in the world. As a judge, that's what you are doing. I do everything I can to avail myself of whatever knowledge and insight I can get from the fighters, first and foremost from the fighters. While judging often comes under fire in combat sports, Crosby argues that officials have an impossibly tough job and constantly being bombarded with criticism will only make problems worse. He said, if you want good judges and good judging, they cannot fear the lurking shadow of millionaire pundits when it comes to the decisions they make. They can't fear the lurking shadow of members of the media and I have great respect for genuine members of the MMA media. They think I'm some hostile boogeyman, but we're not supposed to talk to the press and any reporter who comes up to me at a show and wants to just talk about judging philosophy or any of the things that people should take into account, anyone can come talk to me. A lot of the people in the MMA media already have a preconceived notion and they're only going to take out of whatever you tell them that confirms that bias. It's called confirmation bias. It's an old trick and it works too often. What do you guys make of these comments from Judge Crosby? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Speaking to Chris Weidman on SiriusXM, Daniel Cormier discussed what John Jones brings to an already exciting heavyweight division and how he matches up against some of the top heavyweights. Here's the clip. Everybody wants to know your thoughts on John Jones coming back. Is he coming back? How is he going to change that heavyweight division? How, how is he going to do that? I think he'll be fine. You know, the guy's a good fighter, very talented. I think he'll do well at heavyweight, but it's a matter of him making the leap, right? It feels like I've been waiting forever for him to fight in this weight class. I think the moment he makes the actual jump into the heavyweight division, it will make for the division to be much funner. It will make the division grow. And it's already as fun as it's been in a really long time. But just some of the matchups that he could be involved in with 
Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gan and Curtis Blades, uh, it makes for an idea of some big time fights, but not even him. I mean, Pavlovich, after watching what he did to Kai Tuivasa, into everybody recently, there's some dangerous fights for him, especially when you look back on his light heavyweight career and see that, uh, and see how he struggled at times with bigger guys. So it, I think it'll be fun to add, but I think there's some big time matchups in there for him. And I think he'll, but I think he'll do fine. And here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Blonde Digits. Our second place meme was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Don Da Vinci 416. And our top pick was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.